pretty cool. Like I much rather people use this kind of stuff versus like a ribbon. So I don't want to offend anybody. It might be my my nose. The foot of this thing stinks. If I'm the king, I'll be like, take him out and just take the head off. Just go. Just you know. Here. Like that. There you go. So you get like some like royalty. Like this thing looks like a penny. <laughs> but yeah, they get kind of like a lord. Yeah. Now they changed the band from what they what it was before. I did find the pictures. So. Uh, I would have been preferred that he smoked it and smelled it before he handed it to me because uh, I probably wouldn't have tried. <laughs> but every single day. Hey guys, home to Soy Sauce Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. So today we are doing this. I'm gonna butcher this name for sure. It's for JC Newman, Angel Cuesta, Double Robusto. Okay, now I have some information on this one. Let me just kind of read it to you guys because there's no way I'm gonna remember these. Okay, so. MSRP on this one is $18, which is what this is sold for. The size on this is 5.5 by 56. And the full name they called it is Angel Cuesta Ecuador Havana Rosado Double Robusto. Is that enough name? Is that enough? Okay, so. Uh, we have the wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano Rosado. Which... Okay, I kind of see it. Uh, binder undisclosed, fillers undisclosed. Um, they did say that JC Newman wanted to kind of recreate this uh, century old cigar that was made for King Alfonso 13 of Spain. Uh, so this one has that Alfonso 13 logo to it. Pretty cool band. I just I don't know Alfonso 13. So yeah, I mean the cigar is named after Angel La Madrid Cuesta, which is the founder of Cuesta Ray, which Newman acquired in 1958. Well, okay. I guess they knew they were gonna make a cigar back in 1958. All right, so. Let's um, talk about this. This has a little of like a pigtail close foot, but not really. It's like a tiny nub. Uh, and yeah, like I said, it's close foot. So this is got to be one of those questionable stuff. It's pretty cool. Like I much rather people use this kind of stuff versus like a ribbon. So that's that I, I, I approve. I approve this message. All right. Let's get a smell to it. Huh. Um. Um. I don't want to offend anybody. It might be my my nose. The foot of this thing stinks. Like almost like sewerage. 
I'm I think uh, I'm smelling sewer or something. I'm not kidding. S something just stink, like a stinky foot or something like that. Some some stink. <laughs> I don't know why if I want to smoke this guy anymore. Some sort of stink. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. All right. Cut the night, I guess. The only thing we can do right now. That taste. What does that taste? Cold draw. Think it would? <coughs> Something. It's a woodsy no, but it's like stinky. I don't know what's wrong with this. I'm kind of scared. And like when I took a whiff, there's like a whole powder thing coming up. I don't even know what that is. The draw is kind of weird. Alright. Hoping for the best. I, I, you know, I don't have... Right now, it's not giving me a good impression of this. You know what I'm saying? Leather, very, very earthy. Cedar. Chocolate. There's some saltiness too. Some sort of sweetness that isn't in the forefront, but I can taste there's something going on, but it's not there yet. What is that? It's like a salty bitterness with some fruity note or something like that. I can't tell what that is. It's just... Oof. Oof. What are you trying to do? That's a cigar fit for King. And water, like sewage water. Anyways, I'm gonna go for one third. Hopefully this gets normal. All right, be right back. All right, one third, like I don't know what to say about this. I don't really want to trash this because Eric sent this to me, you know, and he didn't even have reviewed it himself yet. But one third, I'm gonna dust this ash off because like the ash looks like crap. First third is like mineral, dirt, dirty water. Like all the bad taste you can think of, plus some saltiness and leather. The first third sucked. And I literally was talking to her, I was like, dude, this thing sucked. It starts to get sweeter. It almost tastes like there's some sort of berry taste sweet. But it follows with that dirty water taste. And that nothing washes off. Like I literally was drinking coffee, trying to wash like the you would think the bitterness would kind of cover it. No. I now my coffee tastes like dirty water coffee. And I know it didn't taste like that because it was fresh coffee when I first drank it. I literally 
drink this much before I start review. You can see the line. So I came down and I was about to review. It was oh. Now, like second third, it's kind of going to the second third. It's like a sweeter and a cedar and then has barnyard. And that dirty water taste. I hope that dirty water taste goes away because it's really, really, really bad. Really bad. So, all right. So I'm going back. Smoke this second third while having my tear. Like, I swear to God, if that first third was handed to a king since the cigar originally 100 years ago was made for a king, if I'm the king, I'll be like, take him out and just... Take the head off. Just go. Just you know, I would I wouldn't even give him a chance. There's that that first third was that bad. I'll be like, just go, just go. You know, it was that bad. Anyway, second third. Be right back. All right, second third. Um, it's a lot better. It has a little bit confusing part in the very beginning of the second third. Because it has that really weird sweetness to it. And still have that dirty water. And then like halfway through that second third. You start to get that Cuban-esque. I think it kind of tastes like Cuban cigar. And then um, you have a little bit of like latte taste to it. That goes with it. And then still with that dirty water. And then now. Close to the last third. It's woodsy. It's Cuban-esque is coffee that's closer to the sweeter side it's still bitter but closer to the sweeter side and once in a while it's a little bit salty so yeah second third is not bad like i'll i'll give you that second third kind of go for the better so whoever that the king just killed sorry i killed you a little bit too early um yeah bring the body back and pat him on the shoulders it's a good job yeah it's it's one of those things it's like mm, Mm. Yeah, should I have bought the, you know, should I make the whole entire cigar that way? Don't make it like first third so bad and then second third so good. Then you have lived, right? So anyway, so I did uh, a little bit looking. Um, you know, obviously, they made this uh, cigar for the king. And I don't, I, I, somehow they, they, there's a lineage to it. And then once they bought it, they still make the cigar in Tampa. I think. Because uh, the, the band is Tampa. But let me show you the first band that's here. Like that. There you go. So you get like some like royalty. Like this thing looks like a penny. <laughs> but yeah, they get kind of like a royalty looking um, band look that with four coins and stuff like that i i tried to find if there's any meaning to that but yeah it's 2023 version of it feature the name you know once served as an official cigar of king alfonso uh, king of spain so i really you know maybe i should look it up who the hell that is here we go uh, alfonso 13 he reigned from 1886 to 1931. So yeah, official cigar for him. Apparently he likes that taste. Which means to recreate this cigar back in that day, you gotta have some sort of Cuban in there. And that's probably why it tastes like Cuban. Maybe there is Cuban cigars, not tobacco in there. So I don't know. But it does start to taste Cubanness, start to have that Cuban taste. You know, this cigar actually reminds me a little bit of that. 100 euro cigar that I did a review on. I don't know if that I, I will release the video by now. But if I don't, go look at uh, a cigar called Optima. Optimate. Optimate. And that was a pre-embargo cigar. And that actually has almost the same taste of this second third. Okay. So yeah. Last third. Finish up. Let's go to uh, summary. Hopefully last third does not get any worse. It's just, I just need it to stay like that. Then it will be enjoyable cigar. So that's the end of the cigar. Laster, I still think Laster is not as good as the second third. Um, the second third, the taste is more clean. The last third is not. Yeah, it has that little bit of, like some sort of toasted notes to it. 
but it's not as good as the second dough. Second dough is more clean. I like the flavor better. But anyways, here's the ban. Now, they changed the ban from what, they, what it was before. I did find a picture, so um, I'll show that picture. But like, you know, I, I think the new ban is more obviously a shows better it's more modern is less of i i guess it has more presence it has more presence but the cigar 18 dollar msrp i think it's more closer to a 11 or 12 dollar range for me um but then again like you know if you take in fact that they had to go out of their way to get the cuban cigar in there and all that uh, cuban cuban tobaccos in there and all that stuff i i can see why they charge more but it didn't do well for me because I I don't really care for Cuban cigars. So even if it tastes like Cuban esque, it's just a flavor, you know. And, and they didn't really deliver that flavor that well, other than the second, third. So you know, based on that, I feel like this cigar is really just twelve dollar cigar, you know, because you only get that little bit of enjoyment if you wanted that Cuban taste, right? So it shouldn't be that much because Cuban tobacco really doesn't cost that much more than any other tobacco, in my opinion, right? So. It really depends. It really depends on you. Like, how much do you want to taste something Cuban-esque? And are you okay with just that much? That much, right? Again, I think that, you know, if I'm the king, I'll be like, drag him out. Right? <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know how the cigar became the, uh, the official cigar of that king. But at the same time, maybe the original blend was significantly better was significantly amazing than this one i don't know i can't tell right i didn't i know it's it, i i wasn't born at that time but the cigar i think there's too much hype be, behind it it wasn't that good of a cigar i've tasted way better cigar than that for cheaper and i would not recommend it unless you really want to try something like that i don't know i kind of feel anyways it's just I, I can't say much good thing about it because that that water taste lingers and it's just really kind of nasty for a while, right? It really depends how much you can endure before you get to the good part. If you get to the good part, it's good. And then very quickly it was gone. So in my mind, it's not worth that money. In my mind. Anyways, so that's it for the cigar review. Big thanks to us. Uh, Smoke one if you have one. Eric's for sending me the cigar. Uh, I would have been preferred that he smoked it and smelled it before he handed it to me because uh, I probably wouldn't have tried. <laughs> but I tried it. Here's the review. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and share this uh, review. Comment uh, about your experience. Maybe your experience different than mine. Never had that stinky taste to it. Maybe. But for me, it did. So... And that should be it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.